Hi there, I'm Bernie <clears throat> and uh, this year I would like to participate in the 2x4 competition. It is going to be my first uh, time that I will enter this uh, competition and I think it will be a lot of fun. Well, here is the whole thing that I'm going to use. As you can see, it's uh, plain wood, it's nothing uh, glued together. And as you may just be able to see, it's two and a half meters long, 78 millimeters wide, and 58 millimeters thick. So one can say it's maybe slightly more than uh, two inches by a little bit less than four. Well, <laughs> I just give it a try, and uh, if somebody decides that, well, it has to be really a 2x4, then of course I accept the rules and just will do it for fun. Hope anyway you will enjoy the video and well, follow me what I'm going to, to do for my shop. Well, the reason that I actually used this uh, kind of wood dimensions is that uh, where I live in Switzerland, 2x4s are not very popular. Well. I haven't even seen them, so I just had to choose something that's roughly resembling a 2x4. Fortunately on my table saw I could raise the blade high enough that I could even cut the whole 78mm in uh, one go and so I could split this wooden beam into two parts that I then couldn't use for other tasks. These two cutoffs I will use for the stand for the feet because that way I'm sure that the two stops that are now being mounted have the same thickness as the other cross uh, beam that I'm going to mount. The whole thing will finally look like a cross and it will stand actually quite uh, stable. Yeah, as you can see, no wiggling, no nothing. Here I'm going to build the clamps. Clamps, what for? Yeah, well, you'll see later what I'm going to do. I'm using glue and wooden dowels. The dowels uh, actually are going to prevent that I will destroy my blade when I have to cut. Well, it's lots of sandings. Then I also was uh, actually going over the edge with a round over bit, just to smoothen the whole thing a little bit. Here I will cut the top of the clamp. And now back to the foot and attachment of the middle beam. For this actually I use two large bolts and glue. I know end grain isn't such a good surface for gluing, but uh, I had to, I did put first some glue that could uh, pull in a little bit and then with the large bolts, I think it should be reasonably stable. I did put the stamp. Checking for some leather that will pad the clamps on top.
Here I'm cutting the letter for the padding to its final dimensions. And here I apply contact cement to the leather and the wood so that I can glue on the padding. One side of the clamps is going to be attached firm with screws and glue. The other side of the clamp has to be hinged so that I can open and close it. Okay, well, this concludes my build for the entry of the 2015 2x4 contest by Somers Woodworking. Well, as you see, it actually ended up as a leather stitching pony. Well, <laughs> to be honest, it's a little bit tall for a pony and uh, since you cannot actually sit on it, it's also not a leather stitching horse, but <laughs> who cares? I assume with this long neck, that may be qualifying for the very first leather stitching giraffe in, in the world, I don't know. But anyway, I was uh, wanting something like this uh, since long time and thanks to Summers Woodworking this uh, competition just gave me the kick to yeah, build my leather stitching pony. Uh, I can attach a, a lamp so that I even can see a little bit more and uh, yeah, as you see I just can put it on the floor and sit next to it and work. Well, I thanks for uh, this competition. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did so, well, maybe you may actually consider to subscribe to my channel. I'm actually not on Facebook, Twitter, Patreon or whatever. I'm just on my YouTube channel. All this is just my hobby. It's for fun. Well, sometimes for go a governmental request, which means my lovely wife sometimes asks me to do something for her nursery or for our home. And then of course this I also am glad to do. But otherwise it's just fun for me. I hope you enjoyed it and well see you next time. Bernie!